Vascular medical history. Taking a vascular history retains to mean a focused history looking at arterial symptoms. In the context of peripheral vascular disease, the process should follow the usual history taking sequence, with particular emphasis on the following. Presenting complaint. Pain in the calf on walking, also known as claudication. Pain in the foot at night, also known as rest pain. Discoloration of a toe, foot or limb. Ulceration of the skin. History of presenting complaint. Pain could present as either claudication or rest pain. Claudication is usually localized to the calf and can sometimes extend to the thigh and sometimes the gluteal muscles. Patients describe the pain as aching, cramping or tightness. The symptoms are relieved with rest. The pain occurs after consistent distance, referred to as the claudication distance. The pain is relieved after consistent rest time. The symptoms are inclined to pass without the patient needing to sit down. Rest pain. The pain is always distal, that is the toes and feet. The pain is worse at night in bed, when cardiac output reduces due to lower blood pressure. The pain is relief by hanging the leg out of the bed in a dependent position, because gravity helps circulation. The pain is severe, but might be relieved by opiates. Past medical history with emphasis on cardiovascular risk factors. Smoking, do they smoke? How much do they smoke? What do they smoke? How long have they smoked for? Diabetes type 1 or type 2, are they on insulin? For how long? How well controlled is the blood sugar? For example last HbA1c, is there a history of a foot ulcer? Does the patient experience reduced or abnormal sensation of feet? Dyslipidemia. Do they know if they have high cholesterol? What was the last reading? Are they on a statin? Blood pressure. Do they have high blood pressure? How well is it controlled? Family history. Do they have a family history of specific conditions? Heart disease, hypertension, diabetes, stroke, peripheral vascular disease, aneurysms, renal failure. Cardiovascular history, do they get chest pain, do they get shortness of breath, have they ever had a myocardial infarction, have they ever had a coronary angiogram, have they ever had a coronary artery bypass graft, have they ever been under the care of a cardiologist. Cerebrovascular history, have they ever had a stroke or transient ischemic attack. Vascular history. Have they ever been seen by a vascular surgeon? Have they ever had any investigations for peripheral vascular disease? Have they ever had a peripheral angioplasty? Have they ever had a peripheral bypass? Have they ever had an amputation? General medical history, all the usual questions you would ask, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, renal disease, arthritis, but pay particular attention to the chest. Past surgical history, the vascular aspect should already have been covered in the past medical history but make sure that you know the full surgical history. An old appendectomy scar might be mistaken for an iliac artery exposure, for instance. Drusori aspirin or clopidogrel, statins, warfarin, antihypertensives, oral hypoglycemics and insulin. Sociate history, independence for activities of daily living, like hygiene, shopping, cleaning. Mobility, unassisted, one cane, two crutches, walking frame or wheelchair, do they ever leave the home, how many floors are they able to climb. Diet and alcohol intake history. Vascular and endovascular surgery at a glance was used as the primary source for this educational presentation.